it's JQ Crafty coming in with another Sunday of using up my Creative Cuts Files Cuts Club. Creative Cuts Club <laughs> Cut Files from Redefine Creative. Woo, that was a mouthful. I had um, a bunch of partial kits in this thing. This is the last one, so that's exciting. Now I have a loose one of those to use for things. And I was going to use up kind of these bits and pieces. I kind of talked about it a couple weeks ago um, that I had left over in this partial kit um, from the scrap room. These photos of my husband and son doing like a dino dig kit. This was an old Simple Stories DIY boutique. And I really liked this. And I was going to do this as the background. I almost do like a split page but kind of using this element as well I think I'm gonna do um and I was gonna use this kind of as in the background as well it's gonna pop off a little better I'm gonna cut these pictures smaller um I might even split this and put like half in the corner and half in that yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna create like a photo mat um with some ink and I'm just gonna do some blending around where my pictures are going to go so I just need to pick a, a color of ink and then um, I've got all these scraps to do some messy stacked messy stacks of um, photo mats I have these stamps I can add some texture with as well uh, other than that yeah we're just gonna see what we can use up okay all right all right, I'm going to clean up my space here, um, and then we will get going. So I had kind of mentioned a couple weeks ago when I was showing, like, my plan for the next three weeks um, that I was just going to use this grid paper because I really liked the circles down in the corner, um, and I was going to kind of use that to my advantage um, when I can use a paper that kind of alludes to a certain design. It's kind of nice. It helps you save time. Sometimes I don't like those. Um, in this case, I did like this one. This one was pretty generic and um, wasn't very specific to anything, which was nice. Uh, so it lends itself to helping you get some pages done quicker. Um, my plan is to use a bunch of these scraps and just do a bunch of a uh, few messy. Well, not I guess it's not too many. A few messy layers. That's what I'm doing. I'm really into that lately. Um, I have a few layouts I've been doing where I have the messy layers. I'm definitely someone who likes a lot of layers under her photo, especially if you're going to do what I'm going to do. Um, I really like the look of it where if you have like mixed media or anything kind of highlighting where your photo is and then you just have a bunch of layers of color and texture basically um, popping out from behind it because you have um, layers of paper under your photo and now I'm not distressing all the edges or anything I did rip this blue layer um, just to give a little bit of interest but I'm gonna add a little bit of that green and then I'm gonna top it all off with a full mat of kind of like the turquoisey blue scrap you see behind there and now this is a photo of my son and my husband. Um, he, my son had got a bunch of, he's still into dinosaurs, but he was really into everything dinosaur um, in preschool. And for that Christmas and his birthday, he got so many dinosaur things. We got tons of fun, like building kits, model kits, and like digging kits. So one um, day, it was actually the 2nd of January of 2019. So um, I came home and it was just super quiet. And I saw them in the window and I took a picture before I even walked in. And they are just contently, um, working on this dino dig kit. Now I saw this polka dot paper. I thought it'd be awesome to create a little border. It was just kind of sitting on there on my desk um, when I was like going through things. And I really liked the way it looked peeking out. And I thought about gutting it, but I was like, you know what? The whole point of this is using up the thing. So I'm trying to eliminate as much of this old kit as possible. Um, so I'm doing that. I recently swatched all my oxides and my, um, distressed inks so that's what I was doing there because I'm just gonna do um, some blending it's not gonna look the prettiest but that's okay because the point is, I just want the blending to kind of go to the edges of where my photo is gonna be so that's why I was marking kind of where I wanted it to go um, so it's not gonna look very even but a lot of that's gonna get covered up see and then I ended up adding in more of the mermaid lagoon um, definitely more than I thought I was going to I really wanted more of the green, which is um, Twisted Citron. 
Uh, but it still does peek out and I, I really like the effect, the color that it gives. I'm going to even it out a little bit because it looks a little splotchy. And then I'm going to go in with the stamps that came with this kit, which are some Simple Story stamps. And there's these ones that look like washi tape. And then there's this one that's just like a, a diagonal stripe. And so what I did is I just wet it and kind of pressed it into um, where I had kind of, where I had blended some of the distressed oxide, hoping it would give me more of a water print. Um, it didn't as much as I wanted to. It did a tiny bit, but not as much as I wanted to. I played with it and then I spritzed it a little bit. And then I went ahead with the um, washi tape looking stamps as well and just did black because there's other black um, in the circles. And I like good pops of black with bright colors. So I figured I would just stamp a couple times around in just random places around the photo. And then I'll just add a few more black of some other stamps as well. I don't do a ton of embellishing on this one because that's um, what I was saying before. Is Sometimes these papers that have all this stuff in the corner or something. It's kind of a lot of your embellishment for you and you don't need to. And I'm despite... <laughs> trying to use up all the things. I have made a few layouts lately that I liked, but I've noticed they're too crazy busy. Um, it's hard to focus. So I'm trying to kind of rein in a little. Now I'm playing with this cup file because I almost forgot to put it on because I was really liking the way it was looking without it. But I did want to use it up and I really wanted to use it with this. And I was about to glue it down and I realized, you know what? I don't know if I like the white. Um, I like it when you can see it on, on the ink, but I don't like it when it's going past on the grid and I want enough of it to show up. So I decided to take some more of that Mermaid Lagoon and take that diagonal stripe and kind of stamp all over it. I skipped the part of me tediously trying to stamp and line up the lines, but I really like kind of the texture it gives. And then it's where you can use cut files for a ton of different things. And this is going to be more of those styles of using cut file where it blends in more with the background and more just lends itself to the background than standing out and being the star of the show, which I like to do sometimes as well. So I really like the way this turned out as well. It not being the star of the show, but I like the slight stripe to it and then how it ends up just being that extra thing kind of behind the photo within the, the distress oxide background that I created um, around or cloud of color that I created around the cut file or around the photo um yeah so it turned out really good like I said it's not as obvious but I like it um simple stories needs to show the um American crafts how to do adhesive because these stickers what did what did I say this kit was from I think it's like 2013 they stick so well still because I put um, a heart down and after I was done filming, I tried to lift it back up because I wanted to put some more pop dots behind it. I couldn't get it off the page. So um, I decided, yeah, that heart. I tried to lift it off later and I couldn't. I decided to use a couple of the words, the this and that, and then I used the word fun. So it's like just this and that fun. Kind of a random title. It's fine. I like that it's orange and it pops off the blues and greens. Use a couple of the little phrase, bubble phrase stickers. And then I'm going to cover up some of the other bits um, on these circles with these other circle stickers that don't really apply like the airplane and just, yeah, just a few of them. Flower, which are some fun saving, sayings and stuff. Not a lot of dimension on this layout. I like the depth. Um, here's a close up of kind of the mixed media and all and what it looks like. It turned out great. It's nice and bright and fun and I love it. <laughs> And that's all that matters, right? And I used up a cut file and pretty much demolished a kit. But thanks for watching again. Tune in next week for another episode. And we'll catch you next time. Bye.